Hello and welcome to the Thursday Night GT3 Championship from Race Department on Project Cars from Zuhai and Round 10, the feature race. There is some news this week regarding team changes. Team America changing from their American Corvette to the British Aston Martin, but will that bring them any reward at all? Let's find out. The Aston Martin clearly working very well in the hands of Dom as he took pole position comfortably. He was three tenths ahead of Matt who landed another front row start. Andrew, Gaz and Benji were separated by less than a tenth in third, fourth and fifth. As were Liam, Adam and Ben in sixth, seventh and eighth. Lance wasn't quite up to the pace of his teammate and qualified ninth ahead of Jeremy, Frank and Indrek. Off the line and Dom appeared to get a good launch. However, Andrew and Matt got an even better one. Andrew managed to get his nose ahead. Dom tried to come back at him, but Al broke himself and went straight on, losing him a handful of places. Andrew managed to come out of the lead. On board with Adam in the midfield, and it was very congested as you might expect. Just ahead of him, Ben was deciding to play pinball with the Spam Fritters boys. Somehow, they all managed to pull through. Adam was the lone O&M driver this weekend, and he knew this was his chance to finally pull away from his teammate in the points. And he was looking racy as he got past Jeremy. Frank was in Lance's position only a few races ago with a new car, but he wasn't able to get past him into turn one as he ran straight into the gravel. Jeremy made a mistake out of turn one, immediately putting him under pressure from Lance. But he held firm out of the turn three and four chicane. Their battle continued for another half a lap. Before in the end, nothing changed. After setting such a blistering pace in qualifying, Don was determined to get his lead back, but he still had Benji and Matt to get past before he could challenge Andrew. And whilst those two fought, Dom got down the inside into the hairpin and managed to make a move stick on both of the drivers up to P2. Having seen Dom pull that move off just ahead, Liam thought he'd give it a go, but failed spectacularly. Frank was trying to atone for his turn one off and this time squeezed down the inside of Indrek into the turn 9 hairpin. Indrek was determined to re-pass Frank and he got a good run out of the final corner and it looked like he might get the job done into the first corner under braking. But both drivers went straight on into the gravel and Frank managed to hold the position. Lance was continuing to put pressure under Jeremy and eventually he cracked. Matt was running well towards the front of the field and made a slight mistake on the exit of the turn 9 hairpin immediately losing places to Gaz and Adam. This let Ben and Liam close in. But would they be able to put him under enough pressure for him to make a mistake? Not this time round. Benji had managed to get back into second ahead of Dom, 
but Dom was not going to take this lion down as he went down the inside into turn one, retaking second place. Next target, Benji's teammate, Andrew. Matt had been holding off the challenges from behind, but on the exit of the chicane he made a slight mistake, and that was all Ben and Liam needed to get by. Despite having a comfortable lead, Andrew is still pushing the limits. Ben was the first to pit. Unfortunately for Ben, he came out behind Indrek, but he made light work of him as he drove past Indrek down the pit straight. The question was, how much time had he lost sitting behind him? Andrew is the next to dive in from the lead. But on the pit exit, and Frank drove past. And in a desperate attempt to get past the Max Power Racing driver, he dived down the inside but overshot, running onto the grass, losing valuable time. However, it was only a couple of corners later when Frank ran deep into the chicane, allowing Andrew to get back past. It was valuable time lost for the provisional race leader. Ben's time spent behind Indrek was proving costly as rival Liam came out of the pits ahead of him but only briefly as Ben got a better exit out of turn 1 to regain the place and this would continue their fierce battle it was only a lap later when Ben locked up into turn 1 and Liam did not need a second invitation to get past having worked so hard to get back into the battle for the lead this was a crucial pit stop for Dom. And when Dom came out ahead of Andrew, God only knows what was going through Andrew's head. But that would only serve to spark motivation and aggression to get the victory. And so Dom and Andrew were running nose to tail, fighting tooth and nail. As Dom defended heavily the inside down the pit straight into turn one. Andrew was looking right, looking left, wondering what decision was best. And he tried to get a cut back on the exit of turn one, but couldn't quite make it and would have to wait until turn three. But he missed his braking point completely, running off the track into the barrier and the gravel. However, this would not be the pivotal point in this race. Meanwhile, Liam and Ben were still hard at it, as Ben got a good run into the hairpin and had a look down the inside. Would he make it stick though, that was the question. Not quite, as the drivers ran side by side down into the next left-hander, Liam having the inside line. And would ultimately hold the position. It was not a good time for Indrek to be lagging as he was about to get lapped by race leader Dom. And Dom got caught out by it and speared into the wall. Andrew went past, Benji went past, Gaza went past, Adam went past, dropping him all the way down to fifth. As we see from replay on build Benji, Dom rejoined the track on the left hand side. Jeremy was in his regular 10th spot, but putting pressure under his teammate Matt in 9th, who seemingly pulled over. But Jeremy was not going to complain, he was finally going to get more than one point. Come on, Sam! Dom was putting his heart and soul into a late charge, but it wasn't to be. It was an excellent 1-2 for Infinite Racing, as Andrew led home Benji. Gazza rounding out the podium just ahead of Adam. Dom had to settle for 5th, ahead of Liam and Ben. Lance was in 8th, Jeremy was in 9th, and Matt was in 10th. Gazza's consistently strong points finishes keeping his tally ticking over nicely.
while Andrew is still trying to reduce the gap. Benji and Liam both leapfrog Ben, who drops to fifth. Adam took his opportunity to move away from his absent teammate Amari. Despite getting pole and fastest lap, Dom wasn't able to move up the standings just yet. Matt picked up a solitary point and stays in ninth, ahead of Lance, Jeremy and Frank, while Indrek is still to score. Infinite Racing got their first 1-2 of the season, which was clearly so much better than Span Fritter's 1-2 at Silverstone, because we actually saw this one. Um, but anyway, the gap has been closed significantly to the top teams. O&M are still in no man's land in third. Max Power Racing are being slowly caught up by Team America in fifth. Wacky Racing added a few more points to their tally, and Dual Racing are still yet to get off the mark. Infinite Racing are the team to beat this weekend, it seems, but will they be as dominant in the sprint race? And will Dom's fortunes turn around? <laughs>